Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news about Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today we bring you news. Catherine surprised fans as she dazzles in recycled outfits, but stunning as ever. Princess Catherine's style as a descendant of the monarchy is sophisticated, traditional, and eye-catching. However, it's certainly useful. Catherine has become adept at reusing her preferred outfits rather than purging something fresh each occasion she heads out. Catherine might probably stock her wardrobe with never-before-seen outfits if she wished to. On the contrary, she frequently rewears her most recent outfits, generally modifying anything regarding her locks or accoutrements to make them more interesting. In May of 2006, the day Berger and Mickelson coat. Catherine debuted this gorgeous golden dress during Laura Parker Bowles as well as Harry Lopez's marriage. Bowles is the younger sister of Prince William's stepmother, Camilla Parker Bowles. So, she had to appear as beautiful as possible. The day Berger and Mickelson coat has beautiful needlework that runs the length of the garment. Catherine accessorized the outerwear with a little feathered cap plus a shiny gold handbag. May 11th, day Berger and Mickelson coat. The magnificent Day Bircher and Mickelson coat reappeared five years afterwards. Catherine had donned the coat for another marriage in May of 2011, in this case to Zara Phillips and Mike Tindles. Instead of wearing the feathered headgear she wore in 2006, Catherine opted for a gorgeous white hat made by milliner Gina Foster. The sweeping shape helped earn the headgear the nickname Potato Chip Hat. It had a wide brim that sat crosswise on Catherine's head, which was a, with a golden blossom poking out from the left side. December 2014, Pink Mulberry Coat Catherine debuted her pink-coloured mulberry coat in December of 2014. An additional line of black zippers along with the outside of the coat shone out in spite of the brilliant hue. Catherine donned the coat when touring New York City's 9-11 monument and museums. She was anticipating Princess Charlotte at that point in time. The shape of the garment immediately concealed her increasing baby belly. She accessorized the outerwear with black protective gloves, a black handbag, as well as a loose ponytail. January 2018, Pink Mulberry Coat Catherine's go-to attire when pregnancy consisted of a fuchsia mulberry coat. Catherine donned the garment approximately three years following her trip to the Stephen Lawrence Cultural Center. She had been expecting the Prince Louis at the same time. Catherine donned the bright coat when she visited the Coventry Cathedral in the beginnings of 2018. She put on black gloves and was carrying her black handbag all over again. But this time, she let her locks fall down and let it cascade over her cheeks. Her baby bulge was hidden within the wrinkles of her outerwear. Amelia Wickstead Green Dress, March of 2012 what a wonderful way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Catherine donned this lovely emerald Amelia Wickstead outfit to a St. Patrick's Day ceremony on Mond Barracks in Aldershot, the UK. Following the ceremony, the princess distributed the shamrock to the Irish guards, who were on hand for the procession. Catherine added a gold shamrock brooch on her collar to complete the St. Patrick's Day look. She additionally matched her brown Emmy footwear with a brown Lock & Co cap. She finished the appearance by pinning a little bundle of newly fallen foliage on her right shoulder. Amelia Wickstead Green Dress, March of 2013 Catherine opted to wear the identical St. Patrick's Day attire to the exact same occasion a year afterwards. She donned the same emerald Amelia Wickstead gown to the Mons Barrack St. Patrick's Day celebration. Catherine was able to alter her appearance considerably in the subsequent year. She added an olive turtleneck underneath the gown, making it into a somewhat of an overcoat. Additionally, she removed a waistband she'd used in 2012, probably due to that she was currently expecting with Prince George at the time and was uncomfortable with something resting against her stomach. Coat Red Ami, November 2011 Catherine wore a stunning Red Ami coat when touring the UNICEF facility in Denmark capital Copenhagen. Instead of using the buckle that came with the lengthy jacket, Catherine completed the look by adding a hefty Bessie belting from Reese. Catherine dressed her locks downward, carrying a black purse and completed her look alongside an assortment of Stuart Weissman footwear. February of 2016, Red Amy Coat 
Catherine wore the winter coat later in the February of 2016 on the island of Anglesey, Wales, as well as to commemorate the conclusion of the RAF search and rescue unit activities. Once again, she used the clothes to give herself an altogether new appearance. Catherine donned the outerwear alongside her regular belt, however polished it up by wearing a Lock & Co headband. She additionally pulled her locks up and donned studs of silver for a less casual appearance. She completed the ensemble with black shoes that coordinated with her headpiece. Roland Murray Ivory Dress, May of 2012 Catherine wore an ivory Roland Moray gown to a special banquet held by the 30 Society at Claridge's. The creamy, in-colour outfit was floor-length with an elongated cut that flashed off Catherine's footwear. Although the slit continued to be modest, it provided a wonderful glimpse of Catherine's metals such as a silver open-toed Jimmy Choo's. She additionally paired with a crystal handbag, which gave a touch of glitz that finished her look. Roland Moray Ivory Dress, December of 2013 Catherine donned the same modest white outfit to the official screening of Mandela, The Long Walk to Freedom. She strolled the red carpet in the heart of London, the second time wearing her locks pulled backwards and a big chain over the back of her neck. Catherine chose basic black heels over silver Jimmy shoes for the film's launch. She additionally wore a black purse, making her outfit completely distinct from her May 2012 appearance. Jenny Packham Teal Gown, May 2012 Catherine's wardrobe had more Jenny Packham items than just the green and blue outfit. Catherine wore a different garment by the artist to the BOA Olympic performance. Our best team rises at the Royal Albert Hall in London. The teal Jenny Packham gown was also lengthened to the floor and included lacy embellishments across the bodice. Catherine accessorized the vibrant hue, adding silvering hanging studs and silvery heels. Teal gown by Jenny Packham, November of 2018. Catherine donned the teal gown again in November of 2018 as she attended the annual Tusk Conversation Prizes in London, England. Catherine let her locks down for an increasingly relaxed approach. However, she struck with her colourful motif by clutching a turquoise-coloured purse. It complemented the gown's feminine elements perfectly, transforming Catherine into an exquisite teal-clad beauty. Thank you for watching the video today. What do you think of Princess Catherine's dress sense? Please share your opinions and we'll say goodbye for the time being.